Hello and welcome to this special edition of, The Royal Dilemma. In recent news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children, Archie and Lilibet, have been the center of discussion surrounding the future of the British monarchy, with many claiming that their titles as members of the royal family need to be earned. The question arises, should Archie and Lilibet have royal titles? Archie Harrison and Lilibet Mountbatten Wince's new titles will need to be earned before King Charles III officially confirms their new roles, an insider claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children became entitled to use princely titles by virtue of their position as grandchildren of the monarch in the male line. While Archie and Lilibet's cousins have seen their new titles recognized on the royal family's official website. The California-based have continued to be addressed by the minor honorifics of Master and Lady. The King is reportedly considering what roles his grandchildren will have in the future amid his vision for a slimmer royal family. He is weighing his options following the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's repeated attacks on the institution since stepping down in 2020. Another insider said earlier this month, anything to do with his grandchildren will be decided once they stop lobbing salvos into the palace. No decision or pronouncement can be made on that issue until the king is confident that the decision he makes can withstand any activity on either side in the long term, and they are not in that place. Under the 1917 Letters Patent regulating the distribution of titles within the royal family, only King Charles's children, his grandchildren, and Prince George's potential eldest son would be entitled to use the HRH style and hold the title of prince or princess. The Duchess later added, we have in tandem the conversation of, he won't be given security. He's not going to be given a title. And concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. Prince Harry this year dismissed the suggestion the couple was accusing members of the royal family of making racist questions about his son's skin color. During an interview with ITV's Tom Bradby, the broadcaster said, in the Oprah interview you accused the royal family of racism. The American children will never be working royals, the parents whoever they are just want security paid for them. If the children were not carried by Meghan, they are not heirs of the body. And are not automatically entitled to be known as a prince and a princess. But would be illegitimate according to the laws of succession. The children can neither be removed from the line of succession by anyone but their parents can be formally confirmed as part of it. King Charles always intended to slim down the monarchy, he said so for many decades. Before Beatrice was even born, it was widely reported that King Charles tried very hard to persuade his mother not to bestow prince or princess titles on the children of his brothers. Because that ran contrary to his idea of a slimmed down monarchy, the Queen was amenable to the request but Andrew wasn't, and threw a hissy fit, so the Queen gave in to him. King Charles always intended to limit prince and princess titles to direct heirs only. And Harry will have been aware of this long before he ever met Meghan. King Charles should stick to his guns about modernizing the monarchy. And changing the letters patent, not bowing to the Sussex's blackmail. It seems pretty clear to me that Harry and Meghan are the ones that brought race into the conversation. As a tactic to make Charles give in to their pressure, not giving the title to the first Prince of Color, are the very words used by Meghan in the OW interview. Queen Charlotte, the wife of King George III, is widely thought to have been of mixed race, in which case their firstborn son would have been the first Prince of Color, according to Meghan's logic. Why should we let that small detail spoil Meghan's story? Mull all you want sir but remember they didn't just turn you and the firm over. They turned the nation over and we have a say. These children are going to grow up as Americans and will not have any real connection to the royal family. They are unlikely to ever be working royals, so there is no need for them to have royal titles. The fact that their titles were not changed on the official royal family website immediately after their grandfather became king shows that he must have had doubts about bestowing them. Their cousins' titles were updated from Cambridge to Wales as soon as it was announced that Prince William had been created Prince of Wales, the day after the late Queen died. But nearly five months on the Sussex kids are still listed as Master and Miss Mountbatten Windsor. Even though they were from birth entitled to the courtesy titles Earl of Dumbarton and Lady Lily as children of a Duke. The issue does need to be settled soon and if the King does plan a slimmed monarchy he should issue new letters of patent limiting royal titles to just the children of the Sovereign, William and Harry. 
and the children of the direct heir, William, to the throne. The current dukedoms of Gloucester and Kent will cease to be royal dukedoms on the deaths of Prince Richard and Prince Edward. Both grandsons of King George V and Princesses Anne, Beatrice, and Eugenie cannot pass royal titles to their children. So it would be sensible for male line grandchildren through younger sons not to have royal titles either, and be given courtesy titles of lord or lady. As we have seen, there are various arguments and perspectives on this complex issue. And ultimately, the decision rests with the monarchy. While some may argue that the title should be earned through service to the crown, others may feel that as the children of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they are entitled to the titles automatically. The truth lies somewhere in between, and it's up to the king and the royal family to weigh the pros and cons, and make a decision that best serves the future of the monarchy. We hope this video has provided some insight and food for thought on this fascinating topic. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next edition of The Royal Dilemma. So like, share, subscribe, comment on my channel, and click the notification bell for a future video.